It's that time of the day when you hook up to the power circuits. Proudly brought to you by the transmission company of Nigeria TCN to keep you informed about progress, milestones, and more about the power sector. My name is Amara Agogoesi, and I'm taking you through this program. Here is a specially packaged lineup for this edition. Japan pledges more support for Nigeria's power sector improvement. National Power Training Institute of Nigeria, NAPTIN, gets funding to boost power sector training. We also have a report of the proceedings of a TCN sensitization workshop for distribution companies and the generation companies on the enhanced national electricity grid system portal. Ensure you stay with us. The Japanese Agency for International Cooperation, JICA, has reiterated commitment to supporting projects that would improve power supply in Nigeria. This was the stand of the new Chief Representative of Nigeria Office, JICA, Mr. Yuzuru Susumu, when he led the delegation to the headquarters of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, in Abuja. The new Chief Representative of Nigeria Office, JICA, Mr. Yuzuru Susumu, who led the delegation to TCN, said Japan has strong interest in development of the Nigerian power sector, which justifies the support the country was giving to Nigeria in various aspects of improving power supply. We understand that and power and energy uh, play a very, very important role, key role in uh, economic development in this country and also regional development to uh, make uh, equal development in this country. So Sumo lauded the efforts CCN and other players in the power sector have made so far in improving power supply capacity in Nigeria, noting that the agency will continue to support the company in various aspects of improving power supply in Nigeria. I really think the government and the TCN and the distribution company and the uh, regulatory organization are trying their best to supply stable power to the people. So I'm really uh, impressed with uh, the effort that you have made so far. And, uh, and it's my really privilege uh, to work with you to improve the situation. The JICA representative also highlighted the ongoing power projects supported by the agency in Nigeria. At the moment, uh, we have uh, several ongoing projects in power sector. The transmission line uh, development, Yen Long, is one of them, a sort of a flagship project uh, in power sector. And as to the distribution, uh, we are now working with uh, uh, NAPTIN and also uh, Abuja Distribution Power Company to, en uh, to improve the power loss in the distribution sector. We are expecting uh, some more new projects. Uh, uh, the one is uh, uh, enhancing renewable energy in this country. So we know that we have plenty of uh, uh, fossil fuel, uh, enormous fossil fuel in this country. So of course we have to utilize it in a clean way, but at the same time uh, we also have a uh, um, great amount of uh, uh, solar power and wind energy. Uh, so our, our, our new expert uh, will uh, try to figure out how best you exploit this uh, renewable energy potential and how to integrate uh, this renewable energy and the existing power and fossil fuel uh, based energy. On the purpose of the visit to TCN, he said the agency is envisioning to support regional integration of power connections and would like to key into the TCN grid expansion projects. New intervention we are expecting is a regional integration, not only this country but uh, other, other countries, uh, uh, to enhance the regional integration of power. Uh, we understand that uh, you are working hard on regional connectivity through grid expansion. So uh, experts also uh, work with uh, your country and also surrounding countries to facilitate the regional integration of power so that all the countries will have uh, uh, stable power and uh, generate the power in the most you know, uh, op optimized way. So those are the, uh, the ongoing projects and the pipeline projects that we have so far in this sector. 
and uh, I'd like to continue this effort uh, in cooperation with you. And I'm uh, really look, looking forward to working with you. The Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, Engineer Suli Ahmed Abdulaziz, who welcomed the new country director of JICA, noted that the focus of TCN was on expansion of the power transmission network, noting that there is a component of the project that the JICA was already supporting. What we are pleading with you as the new country director, please, we have our hope on you that you look at all these issues and let this project kick off. Engineer Abdulaziz, while stressing on the importance of the Lagos Ogun transmission expansion project, which seeks to build new substations and power transmission lines, said TCM was ready to comply with global best practices for the project funding by JICA. So please, let's do this in time so that we get the TOR, we have the consultants, so that they will start working on the, on the, 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 the documents. So my plea to you is please find a way to expedite this process. If there are any issues which we are supposed to do, please tell us. The way you say Nigerians need light, you can see it. Now the light we are getting in this country is not enough. But because the federal government is discussing with so many people like you, that we will do this, we'll do this, and the government will think that it will finish in one year or two years. Then it will span to 10, 15 years. So that's why all these four problems in Nigeria are not solved. So I hope you'll do your best to see that we reach a certain level during your own tenure. Thank you and welcome to Nigeria. Towards a comprehensive alignment of service provision in the power sector through the service level agreement regime, the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, has held a sensitization program for representatives of the distribution companies and generation companies after enhancing the Nigerian electricity grid system portal. Speaking during the sensitization workshop for the distribution companies in Abuja, the head transition electricity markets at the National Control Center of TCN, Engineer Bidemi Adeyemo said the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NEC, has mandated compliance with the service level agreement entered into by all parties in the Nigerian electricity market to improve electricity supply and related services. Um, the ESOC has been completed to meet um, certain standards that NEC has um, given us and then um, Henceforth, all communication, all correspondence, basically operational, should be done on the end zone um, for proper monitoring by NEC themselves. They want to have access to all the activities we engage with each other. So instead of all these um, unnecessary disputes, and they want to limit the use of um, emails via um, operational exchange between the stakeholders, that is us and the discourse. Engineer Deyamo said the Executive Director of Independent System Operation at TCN, Engineer Mama Lawal, has keen interest in improved service delivery by developing the communication portal to enhance transparency among others. The portal uh, was developed and deployed at the base of ISO management to ensure transparency. And enhance communications and promote integrity in the NEC. It is meant to facilitate data exchange between uh, the stakeholders. Um, these websites, I think we have like four right now. The Ensom portal was developed and deployed in 2013. Um, it was meant to provide a near real time data and information exchange between stakeholders and the NSC, mainly between the NCC, the GENCOs, and the DISCOs. It's user-friendly, easily accessed, and um, ICAP facilities has made it one of the tools used by NCC in managing and stabilizing the grid. Participants also took turns to ask follow-up questions on the presentation about the Independent System Operations Portal system. 
Engineer DMO responded to the questions, explaining that the overall goal of the portal was to ensure that participants have an efficient data exchange regime. Some of the participants spoke with the power circuits after the workshop session for officials of the TCN independent system operations and their counterparts from the distribution companies. According to engineer Harry Ubo from the Eco Electricity Distribution Company in Lagos, said the workshop provided them with the opportunity to have access to the grid portal to boost transparency in grid operations. So clarity will really come to play with regards to the fact that all stakeholders real time can access this portal and necessary corrections can be made to better improve planning for this code because if I know that I cannot get what I'm nominating for a particular period then I can also actually actually plan how the power I receive from the grid is pushed to where I want it to be effective I mean effectively used. So I think it's the way to go and as we you know get the necessary guidance with how to use the portal, I think at the end of the day it will be good for the industry. Aderonke Dahunsi from the Portacot Electricity Distribution Company also expressed her delight in the enlightenment program organized by TCN. The workshop has been quite impactful and this will have a great um, positive impact on our operation because reading um, the fact of the real-time uploading of the load forecast and ability to view the forecast you've earlier submitted real-time without having to be checking your Excel sheet and also feeder matters that is really a very good icon added to the Ensong platform where we can easily resolve disputes between the actual load forecasted and what was actually dispatched by the National Control Center and actual consumption for the day. This will be a very great relief to the entire disco in um, achieving um, the work best practices. The TCN workshop on the Enhanced System Operation Portal also continued in Abuja with a session dedicated to participants from the generation companies, Jenkos. According to engineer Emmanuel Omo, a principal manager system planning at the National Control Center of TCN in Oshogbo, Oshun State, further explained that the workshop was a prelude for the migration from manual data operations on the electricity grade management. We are here on the workshop as a, a NEC directed that there should be a stakeholders enlightenment program on migration from manual inputting of their ahead declaration both for nomination, both for Disco and Genco, to a portal uh, web, a portal web, on declaration to the National Control Center. Thereafter, we want to also um, let them understand that it is for transparency's sake, so that everybody can see what one's declare and what was was actually asked to do. Thereafter, we will compare with what is actually. Um, generated or what is actually demanded or consumed per Disco or Genco. Engineer Moore also noted that the migration was a key process in reforming the entire national electricity grid. They should get themselves prepared, have their own user uh, username and password so that they will be sending their nomination on web, uh, web page for us, and some web page. He also revealed that the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission NEC has mandated strict compliance with the service level agreement by all market participants. We also want to let us to understand that from July 1st, there will be a market that would be based on not really on what nominated but what was signed as agreement uh, on with NEC concerning what uh, amount of power or energy one would expected to give for a particular period of day and what a uh, distribution company would also be expected to pick both their minimum, their maximum, as well, their minimum and the average energy for the day. So this is the, the reason why we are organizing this 
um, um, workshop so that stakeholders will be abreast. If they have questions, we can attend to their question. Then we, all of us will be on the same page to make the industry to be as transparent as possible. Providing further insights on the TCM portal system, the head transition electricity markets at the National Control Center of TCN, engineer Bidemi Adeyemo said the training session was to integrate the latest upgrade of the communication tools. I'm here to um, explain what the dispatch tool is all about. Um, the dispatch tool was developed to interact um, with the Jenkos and Discos, who are major stakeholders, um, for real-time um, interaction, um, instructions, and a dispatch of um, load on the grid. So basically, in the NCC, we generate instructions, um, the day ahead schedule, um, day ahead allocation to the Discos, and then we monitor the implementation of these activities. Engineer Deyemo commended the participants for the turnout at the TCN Genco's training session. And the turnout is also great. And um, it's been good. It's been good. So we hope that um, this um, gives sanity to the system. And, um, the EDISO has um, um, sponsored this stuff and um, we are all grateful. Also speaking, engineer Hassan Eliasu of Pacific Energy Operators of the Oloron Shogo Jenko welcomed the news of full digital operations. I'm happy with this development that the Engson is going to contain issues of uh, declaration, not only declaration, and other developments on it. So I believe it's going to be a very, very good tool for us in the Jenkos to be able to express all our, our machines. Uh, uh, technicalities and how also uh, TCM will understand how our machines operate. Engineer John Onimisi from Mainstream Energy Solutions, operators of the Kainji and Jeba Hydrogenkos, said the stakeholders in the power sector were beginning to get it right. I'm happy that now we are talking about accountability. We are talking about reliability, we are talking about accountability. We are talking about the major stakeholder being Held, hold, held accountable, you know, to the system. The past circuit continues in a moment. Please stay on. This five days. Guys, I, go. I have a business that can change our lives. Business? Business that can change our lives. Guys, if money is involved, I mean, take it. But you don't know the kind of business. I mean, business is business. <laughs> okay, man. my guy. Ah. I mean, I mean, I mean. Real money, and there's a big market for it. Wait, oh. is it vandalism that you have brought me here to do? Yes! Something that can take me to jail! Something that can destroy our economy and spoil what the government wants to achieve! Real money. I can't. See this man! I can't! Even you. Shut up your mouth. I will never go to jail. Vandalism. God forbid. God forbid. Look at the people I want to help. Be part of our economic growth. Do not destroy electricity power installations. Do not destroy government effort to provide electricity for all. Report any suspicious person found stealing 
or loitering around power installations to any security operatives close to you or to a nearest transmission company of Nigeria office. This message is brought to you by the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, transmitting electricity in the most efficient and effective manner. The Director General of the National Power Training Institute of Nigeria, NAPTIN, Ahmed Nagode, says the institute has received funding from the French Development Agency and the European Union, EU, to improve training in the power sector. He said that this during a workshop on enhancing vocational training delivery for the power sector in Nigeria in Abuja. The NAPTIN bus, who was represented by the Director, Legal and Head, Project implementation at NAPTIN, Kule Oyenusi, said raising human capacity in the sector was crucial. NAPTIN currently has a, financial, a financing plan which is an aggregate of about 46 million US dollars. This is a funding that has been provided to the Nigerian government by the AFD. AFD is a French development agency and the European Union with a grant. It's a blended arrangement. The financing is blended with a grant. And this is being invested in NAPTIN. The purpose is for the announcement of vocational skills training delivery in the power sector. The second one is infrastructural development. And the third one is corporate development. It is also important that we also match this up with infrastructures that are on the ground. The NAPTIN has said the institute will construct a 104-bed hostel and four workshops at the institute's headquarters in Abuja to accommodate trainees. On the institute's impact in the sector, the NAPTIN boss said over 17,000 persons have received training through NAPTIN. From 2009, when NAPTIN was established to date, it's on record that we've done at least about over 17,000 trainings over 17,000 and you can see that the bulk of that is actually in uh, the technical code. About 14,000, over 14,000 in technical, about 3,000 in non-technical, which gives us a total of almost 18,000 that NAPTIN has trained to date. Now what is the advantage that NAPTIN actually has that has enabled NAPTIN to be able to spread out in this form? This is what we have on, the, on, on this slide. We are located in eight regional training centers, of course, with the headquarters here in Abuja. Also speaking at the workshop, the Assistant General Manager, Regulatory, Safety and Certification at the Nigerian Electricity Management Services Agency, NEMSA, Engineer Bright Obidi, said enforcement of technical standards was quite imperative, requiring well-trained professionals to handle that. In his remarks, the Executive Director of Technical Services, Rural Electrification Agency, REA, Barakasaju, said the agency had partnered with NAPTIN on building skills for solar installation and other renewable energy technologies. Oh, that's the much we can bring to you today. Again, here are the highlights. Japan pledges more support for Nigeria's power sector improvement. We also told you that the National Power Training Institute of Nigeria, NAPTIN, has received funding to boost power sector training. We then brought to you the proceedings of a TCN sensitization workshop for distribution companies and the generation companies on their enhanced national electricity grid system portal. We would love you to always stick with TCN and so we have provided episodes of this program on the TCN YouTube channel. There are also more platforms that you can visit for further inquiries about TCN. Report all suspicious vandal activities to the nearest security establishment near you and together let's keep tackling the menace of power infrastructure vandalism. I am Amara Agogoesi. Thank you for staying with us on The Power Circuits.